stay away from this film because it is brutal. Hey guys, I'm back for another 31 days of horror! I'm in bed and I don't, I mean I'm wearing red lipstick, we're about to go out, but um, I decided to watch this film in bed because sometimes you just want comfort, you know, um, before going out and I tell you what, it was not a relaxing movie at all. Um, this one is a really disturbing one, um, but I wouldn't say it's, it's like a great film. Um, this is from 2008. It's called Baby Blues. You do have to keep in mind that this film is by Lars Jacobson because it is a 2008 film of the same name, which is not the same movie. So keep that in mind. This one is like a TV movie. It goes for an hour and I think it's an hour and 11 minutes, um, which is not long. And it feels like a TV Hallmark kind of movie, although it's very, very disturbing. Um, but the dialogue everything is just so simple and cheesy um but also terrifying uh this film follows a family who i guess live in rural like southern america from what i can tell and the dad is like a truck driver and he leaves while the mother is dealing with some postpartum depression the baby blues okay the title and the oldest son is just meant to look after the family and everything falls apart quite quickly and the mother just completely loses the plot there is carnage if you don't like animal death stay away from this film because it is brutal um it is brutal by every meaning of the word i did write down some dialogue because some of the dialogue was just like too much or maybe not enough so the kid before the dad leaves says to the dad Dad, mom seems sad. <laughs> like, it was very basic dialogue is what I'm trying to say. And with the visuals, it's so interesting because the visuals are so upsetting and unsettling and unnerving and icky and there's like some self-harm involved. There's a lot of blood. So like for the dialogue to be so basic, it's, it's weird. There's really not a lot to this film. It's exactly what it says it is. It's just carnage. Um, and it's it's very hard to watch if you don't like any um, violence towards children, things like that. I mean, not that you do like that, but if you can't handle that, um, if it is definitely a trigger for you, I would not watch this film because it is just carnage, and it's in such a hallmark kind of way that it's not like it's done in an interesting kind of film, there's no interesting backstory, that's kind of it. Ridge Canopy, I hope I said his name right, who plays the young boy, I've noticed or recognised in some other stuff. He also plays a young Dean in Supernatural, and I believe he was in Walk the Line, he plays one of the characters when they're younger. I don't know if it's Johnny Cash, I probably should figure that out. Uh, he's definitely a noticeable child actor, um, and I wonder what he looks like now. But what's creepy is if you pull him up on IMDb, he's still got the same headshot, and this is like, this is not working out. But anyway, 10 years later, 11 years later, did the boy ever age? We don't know. There's not a lot to say about this film. I thought it was disturbing, it creeped me out, um, but it's not a great film put together. It's just a creepy moment. And if you're into creepy moments, maybe you like it. If you like disturbing, violent, intense moments, you can check it out. It's available in most places, if you know what I mean, on this platform we're currently on. Um, so uh, it might be worth a watch for you since it's only just over an hour long. But for me, I could probably leave it. Um, I've seen a lot of it. It reminded me a little bit of... Uh, uh, an American crime and yeah, you kind of have to think about where you're gonna sit with it given the ending of this film I'm not gonna give it away But um, you've got to wonder if this is meant to be a film That's just meant to creep you out and it actually puts stigma upon um, depression 
uh, that a lot of women face in their life or whether it's meant to be raising awareness, which I don't think so. So it's probably a little bit problematic when you think about it that way. Anyway, um, that's the film Baby Blues. Now I've seen it, 2008 Lars Jacobson version. Make sure you check that one out. And um, I'll probably give it a 4 out of 10. Let me know what you thought of Baby Blues if you watched it down below. Did you think it was that disturbing? Let me know down below what you scored the film. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another 31 Days of Horror. Let me know if you've been here the whole time. I'd love to know. I'll see you guys then. Bye!